He just keeps going. Radioactive sign. It's not very often that you see that in Fallout. Apart from the UI telling you that you got radiation poisoning. Oh, look at that. We got a, one of those. He just got a lot of these machines. We put a lot of those in the game. The Lathe, I think, is one of them. That is to the Mojave Wasteland. Uh, well, we're outside. Oh, there's fart, fart clouds over here. Let's come. <laughs> Let's go back inside. It's cozier. Uh, also, I can explore the outside. Lady? Lady spawns on me? Ah, uh, it's gonna be fine. Science. Computers. Vault entrances. That's the vault entrance, but it's just reused. It's not actually a vault entrance. Rockets. And glowy bits. But mostly rockets. I think this is going to be important, isn't it? Space suit helmet. Don't mind if I do. Is that for radiation? I think that might be for radiation. It is not for radiation. It's for goofiness. Goofiness is good as well. And steam packs and mentats. Some good things. These computers don't do anything. So I don't think we're welcome here yet. Hey. Go bother Jason, Smoothskin. I don't like having you around. Yeah, I'll, I'll guess I'll be going. Good riddance. Well, I have a helmet that you don't have. Speaking of helmets, um... Eddie. You can carry all of my crap. Do you know what crap is? It is all that I have. That's what the crap is. You too, Delilah. You also carry my stuff. Ah. Oh, wait. Where's Jason? Oh, wait. Jason is so identifiable. How could I have forgotten? Hello, Jason. Is the way clear? The way, yes. The the demons are gone. Praise the Creator and bless you, Wanderer. The way is clear. I will lead my flock through the basement to the sacred site. I hope you will come find us there, Wanderer. There is much to be done. I will go after you, yes. So I need to head to Repcon Basement and talk to Jason Bright about what comes next. Oh, dang. He just... went for it. How did I not see your stuff over here? Anyway, um, let's go to the basement. Did I close this door? Hey. I waited to speak with you one last time before I descended to the launch pad, Wanderer. I want you to know that we will remember for all eternity how you delivered us to the threshold of the Great Journey. Our preparations are nearly complete, but the rockets that will carry us to salvation are yet missing vital components. If you would still help us, Wanderer, speak to Chris. He can tell you what is missing. There is no way that we can thank you enough, Wanderer. Your arrival here was a blessing. We will remember you always. Uh, can we talk more about the book, by the way? Um, I've taken care of the Night King in the basement. and Can I have the book? Yes, Wanderer. You have proven yourself deserving of this. Thank you very much. Um, are you seriously going to make your great journey? Sorry. Great journey on those rockets? Yes. The rockets will convey us to our promised land in the far beyond. Vision upon vision has confirmed it. Are these surface-to-surface -surface rockets, by the way? Or will they launch you into orbit? I understand your concerns, friend, and I thank you for voicing them. But the Creator's will for us has been made manifest. Uh, let's talk about Chris. After all that you have done for us, I suppose you deserve to know everything. When Chris came to us, 
We tried to convince him that he was human, but this only angered him. He seemed lost. We decided to let him stay with us for a few days, over the course of which we learned that his technical skills far surpassed our own. It became clear that the Creator had sent him to us, to ensure the success of the great journey. Equally clear was that Chris should labor in blessed ignorance of his humanity, and his inability to make the journey himself. It is no coincidence that two humans have been vital to the success of the great journey. It is my belief that the Creator sent you, and Chris, to expiate the sins of your kind against mine. Your Redeemers both. The sins of my kind against his. So first off, he's totally, totally exploiting Chris. Totally lying to him. And uh, it's definitely not okay. Um, secondly... No, our kinds are the same. Although he does talk about wanting to leave because everybody is shitty to ghouls. Um, he doesn't have a kind. Right? I mean, he... Like, they're, they're infertile. It's not... It's, Maybe people, but it's not like this is not like the the super the super mutants or something, even though the super mutants are also infertile. And it also would be the sins of the super mutants against the humans, <laughs> even though super mutants are humans. Uh, it's kind of complicated. They're humans as well. Basically, this guy just got a bunch of radiation and he ghoulified. And then people say that he's ugly and smells. So you're going to leave Chris behind? Such is the creator's will. Vision upon vision has shown me that, were Chris to accompany us, he would die in minutes. The radiation around the launch pad alone would kill Chris in minutes. The radioactivity of the far beyond is much stronger. Um, well, it's none of my business. Yeah, it is some of my business. You've been using Chris. It's despicable. It is the creator's will, and I must submit. There is no malice in it. We would take him with us if we could. There's definitely malice. There's de there's definitely malice. You're, are you paying him for his work? If not, even if you were, but if not, then there's malice right there. Even if you were, there would be malice because you're lying to him. You know that he wouldn't wouldn't work for you if he knew the truth. So goodbye, Jason. There is no way that we can thank you enough, Wanderer. Your arrival here was a blessing. We will remember you, always. Will you, though? Hey. What? Chris? Oh, that's them down there. Oh, Chris is over here. Hey. Hey, what's up? Where'd he go? Lost track of him. Oh, he goes down here. Oh, they're gonna... Are they gonna mess with the things? I think I, uh, Chris needs to help them, so they're just waiting right now. Okay, well, my science kind of sucks, dude. I really wish I had better science. <laughs> it's 40 science. It's bad science. I think I only need 60, though. So maybe I'll, I'll be okay. Maybe I'll get... Hey. hey. Jason says that I am to cooperate with you on the final tasks necessary to launch the Great Journey. What do you do here? I'm the Flock's resident engineer. I've always been good with machines. Jason says the great journey would have been impossible without me. Of course, my skills aren't much use unless I have the right materials. That's where you come in. Why don't they let you work down on the launch pad? When I joined the Flock, Jason made it clear that he wanted me to supervise the repairs, not do them myself. It would be a waste of my gifts to work on just one system at a time. From up here, I've been able to supervise the entire project. The radiation down there would kill you, Chris, because you're human. I thought we were past all that, smooth skin. But you just can't resist the chance to mess with me. Typical human. I was human once, you know. Grew up in Vault 34. Northeast of here. 
Nice upbringing if you like assault rifles and target practice. But oh, you prefer machines that don't shoot people? Not so nice then. Who should maintain the vault's reactor? Hauser? Mitchell? No. Make it Haversome. He likes machines. Haversome won't mind getting irradiated. Haversome won't mind mutating. He's already ugly as it is. Haversome won't mind when his hair starts falling out after a few years. There's no connection, Haversome. You're neurotic. I forgot it's because of the hair. He's complaining because he convinced himself he's a ghoul because his hair started falling off. You left your vault because you were going bald? Bald? You call this bald, Smoothskin? I'm a monster. A monster! Uh... Time for me to go. Later. I think I might be able to convince you otherwise. Delilah. Okay. Give me... My speech... My speech pants. There they are. I don't know if they're gonna be good, but hopefully they are. Uh, there we go. Excuse me! Are you ready to get started? Those rockets aren't going to launch themselves. No, 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 no. Uh, no, it's about, uh, the, the hair. Jason told me himself, the great journey... I don't do air quotes this time, because it's very serious business. Is, uh, for ghouls only. You're not going. Oh, God! You're telling me the truth, aren't you? Oh, no! How could they do this to me? For two years? My God, I've been a joke to them. Do you have any idea how easy it'd be for me to sabotage those rockets? That'd be a joke, huh? One hell of a joke. That would be murder, Chris, and you're no murderer. What, you think I'm too stupid to pull it off? I know enough to get their rockets working, don't I? So I can make them fail, too. Well, uh, it's not a matter of smarts. You, you just you, uh, let other people get the experience for their kills. You'd never forgive yourself. Like I could forgive myself for getting duped like this? They used me, and now they'll throw me away. They'd take you if they could, Chris, but you would die. And dying would be worse than this? Used up and thrown away like garbage? They're going to reserve, revere you as a saint, Chris. Oh, so I've redeemed the human race, is that it? What a crock. The human race can't stand me. That's not true, Chris. You're, you're all right. So, you want me to accompany you on your adventures across the wasteland, is that it? You know what? Maybe. There's a little town called Novak down the road. Just go there, I'll meet you up, because I need to dump Delilah. It's, it's fine. Life among humans again? That's what you're suggesting? I guess... I guess it's the only chance I've got. I can't believe I'm agreeing to this, but I'll give it a try. I'll get Jason and his flock on their way, and then I'll head for Novak. Oh, you're gonna get him on his way? Lucky them. I thought I was gonna do that. Cause we can do that if we if he something happens. I'm not sure. Chris, are you ready to get started? How can I help? I was close to completing work on the rockets before we were driven into hiding on the top floor. Two components were missing. A quantity of isotope 239 igniting agent and a set of thrust control modules. The igniting agent is highly radioactive and decays quickly. That's why we can't use the drums that leak down on the launch pad. It's no longer potent enough. I need you to find an intact, shielded container of the igniting agent. As for the thrust control modules, they were custom-built for these rockets. They won't even launch without them. Uh, I still have questions. All right. Go on. I'm Batman. How can I help? As I said before. That's fine. I'll track down the igniting agent. Very well. We don't need a huge amount. Two to three liters should be enough. What about this rocket souvenir? The stuff inside glows. Let me see. Yes, that's the igniting agent. But we'll need more of these souvenirs. 
A total of five should do it. I, that that's why that rocket souvenir was marked as a quest. Uh, that's interesting. I wonder if it's easy to figure it out that you're supposed to bring that. Maybe the game tells you in the quest updates. Um, act, um, can you give me any tips for my current task? Repcon has been ransacked so many times by scavengers, it's hard to know where the components might turn up. If they turn up. Jason has mentioned some industrial ruins to the east that are supposed to be highly radioactive. Hmm. Really? I'd start by visiting local junk merchants or traders and see if that turns anything up. Hmm. Actually, I'd like to help with something else. All right. What would you rather be doing? The control thrust things, maybe? Uh... Can I not do both? I'll stick with my current task. All right. Carry on. Hmm. I didn't expect it to, to be like that. To not be able to do both quests. Uh, but we have an objective. Let's go get some rocket souvenirs. And it's a good thing that the exit is right here. Now you fellas... Don't get too radiated. What is this? Steady. Cat eye. Absinthe. I really don't need the absinthe, though. I can leave without that. It's H2O. No, it is actually relatively expensive. Is there anything back here? There is not. I'm not sure how the, uh, the radiation works. Are there going to be enemies? We haven't been back here. Okay, here you go. Um, just take the, the things. I'm not sure how the radiation works. I wonder if it decays or if it's permanent. It looks like it's pretty permanent. I have 318. Back to Novak we go. Oh, we're in the front, front yard. So we can fast travel. Sure, let's do that. Why is it there? Why? What a weird thing. Maybe we can figure a different way of, of dealing with this. We got also merchants. Excuse me. Hey Prim there. A new sheriff. That should keep the powder gangers away. Yes. Hey there. Need anything? Yes. Um, I'd like to see your wares. Sure. Hmm. Thanks. Man, that cow growls at me. Um, anyway, let's drink a bit of what? No, no, uh, should I go in there? Yeah, I should go in there. There's nobody in here at this time of, da uh, of night. So I'm not sure where I'm gonna get a drink of water, but it's gonna be fine. Okay. Find atomic fuel. Oh. So. I think I know what that is. I think I remember what that is. Let's go there, nonetheless. Let's see if I can figure out where we're going, because we don't have the map the map marker anymore. And uh, there's some monsters up ahead. And there's some pipes in the distance. There's many monsters, but that's Eddie. Oh, it's flies. It's not Eddie. Eddie is not the monsters. That's Eddie spotting them. Um, there's some flies. Some coyotes. No, it's just a fly. Bloat fly. Can, uh, can y'all start doing the shooting? Or maybe not. They, they don't want to. Oh, this is radioactive. There's also golden geckos. I am going to hang out over here. Can't run from me. Well, I mean, I, I, I don't know what, what lady, lady, freaking lady, huntress of the pack. I see something over there. Okay, they're taking care of the bloat flies. Let them do their thing. This looks really cool. And this looks like a radiation suit, which is nice because we don't have one. I mean, we do we have a, an advanced one, but not a normal one. Do I like it? Nah, sure. 
And also, an isotope 239 igniting agent, which means I didn't need to rob the, the, the place. Also, we have Mr. Radical's journal. So this is worthwhile. Mostly because it is in connection with the quest. Um, and uh, also, you know, um, it's... Uh, it's, unique. it's better to come here while we're doing the quest rather than later on. Love the suit. Can scavenge anywhere now. Screw the rads. I hereby christen myself Mr. Radical. Get it? Nah. They for a suit past first yellow, uh, first test with flying yellow colors. Overnight visit to Yucca Mountain. Didn't go too deep because something big moving around further down the tunnel. Rad level high even where I was and I didn't feel a tickle. Go, rad suit, go. Day 5 vomited all morning. Didn't splash on suit or I'd be pissed. Must be something I ate. Definitely not radiation. Day 9, exciting! Ran across old woman's scrapyard. This is old lady Gibson, most likely. Bought glowing container for measly 50 caps. Heading to Clark Field to prove suit at higher rat levels. If it holds up, I'm going to pop this jar of goop open and pour it all over me. I bet I could swim in this stuff if I had enough of it. Oh yeah. Uh... Well, you're not a ghoul yet, which is canonical, I suppose. Um, lady, uh, not lady. Okay, here you go. I mean, lady, calling her lady, I suppose. Anyway, advanced radiation suit is where I want what I want, and I will be using that and hopefully not get attacked by anybody around here. And now I look amazing. Look at how amazing I look. Look at how I look. Okay, well, we have... A broken gecko, not a golden gecko. Although it is. I'll take your hide. I think... Th oh, lady. And we fu- oh, I thought I heard a mine. Can't run from me. Clarkfield is the name of this place. They're definitely doing their job out there. And I'm just scavenging. Lady. Lady just... Yeah. She's just fearless. All the time. Uh, I don't think I need their eggs. They're also very heavy. And we got a little bit of radiation. Oh, no. They killed... Oh, this is special. Isotope igniting agent some steam packs and some dirty water no purified water in here they didn't kill a pack brahmin over here got some food some whiskey a vacuum cleaner uh yeah there's still stuff going on you guys don't don't let me get any kills i like that don't let me get any kills oh there's another one i guess i'm gonna have to get one it's just a young young one Still, you know, our fists operational. So I wonder if we're going to find the goop or if it's just that. Because there were two ingredients that we needed for, for the mission. And I chose one specifically. So we might find the other one over here. I don't, I'm not sure. So these are big water, water containers, but that's it. There's nothing else here. Okay. It's our time to shine then. Hopefully. Let's go back to Repcon. Hey. I got all the things, I think. Morning. Have you found the components we discussed? Maybe. Uh, I found an entire container of igniting agent. Yes. That's the stuff. And the container shielding must be intact or you'd be dead by now. Now all I need is the thrust control modules. Ah, I knew it couldn't be everything. Can you give me any tips for my current task? Scavengers wouldn't know the value of the modules just by looking at them. I remember, of course. Later. So we need to find a traitor. Well, we found a little note talking about old lady Gibson so it isn't oh well thank you quest marker for confirming my suspicion 
I, I figured I figured it would be. Hi, you're outside. Good for you. So you're back. Now, where did we leave off? What can you tell me about Repcon? Sometimes it seems like I spent the better portion of my youth in that old wreck of a building. Me and my hubby, may the man rest in peace, used to scavenge there. <laughs> if it weren't bolted down, you can bet we took it and sold it. A lot of the scrap you see around here is from Repcon. Even my favorite chair. D yes, I did notice that. Do you have any thrust control modules from Repcon in stock? As it so happens, I do have some thrust modules, but they're expensive. 500 caps worth of expensive. Yeah, but, uh, never mind. All right, then. Take care now. I'll be a moment here. Delilah. Sure. I need, um, my speech bands, please. Thank you. <clears throat> Let me just very quickly. Th there we go. He didn't see nothing. So, you're back. I am. About the thrust control modules? Still got them. I know. Uh, you're going to cut the price, though. Uh, 250 Because I'm just that charming, right? Ha! <laughs> yes, you are quite the smooth talker. What the hell? 250 it is. 250 it is. Here you go. Pleasure doing business with you. I have no need for any of this money. But I will still haggle. Because of course I will. Okay. I wonder what the, if the barter would have given me a, something a little, you know, a better price or something. What is it? Colmillo? Colmillo. I don't actually know what it stands for. Because the double L sort of gives a, gives it away as a Spanish word. Um, anyway, that's that. We got we got the the, the the things. Chris. Have you found the components we discussed? I did. Indeed you did. And they seem to be in excellent condition. Uh, can the launch wait a few minutes? Very few. Time is wasting. Hurry back so we can begin. Well, my most, my biggest concern is having a save over here. Uh, because I might need some science pens or something to that extent. It is almost time for the great journey. Yes, the rockets are set to go, right? Yes. I'll tell Jason that the great journey can begin. The rockets are ready, Jason. The great journey hey. can begin. Good luck, I guess. Hey. <laughs> Gather all. May the Creator guide my words and help me speak true. The Almighty Creator has seen fit to answer our prayers. The time has come for us to board the rockets and begin the great journey. Though it may seem that all humans despise us, the Creator has seen fit to instruct us differently. The journey ahead would have been impossible if not for the intercession of two human friends. One you, the other a long abiding companion. To our new friend, we say thanks and promise never to forget how he cleared from our path the demons who sought to stay our journey. But to Chris, we owe more than thanks. Chris, you have made this great journey a reality. From this moment forward, you will be remembered as the saint of the great journey. We shall never forget you. I ask that you forgive us, Chris, and give us your blessing. And we bestow ours upon you. Seekers, board the rockets. Take your seats. The great journey awaits. To the promised land we go. To the far beyond. Hey. 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 Hello. Hello. These goofs. Hey. These goofs. 